Google Earth a bright spot right in the community, and that would be this building, just reflecting light, shining out. That's, that was my vision. And um, years I dodged having any kind of press or any kind of um, publicity just from my former life in the Navy. As a whistleblower, it was, um, it was tough on my family. It's a difficult period, and, um, and sometimes, even now, people are not very nice about that whole issue. I, uh, my name is Paula Popolo, and uh, I'm here in Atlantic Beach, Florida. And I opened the Ocean Yoga Center um, almost 10 years ago, 10 years ago, at another location, and then we um, were lucky enough to outgrow it. And as Grace would have it, we um, had a piece of land, and we built a building on it, and filled it up with people who want to practice yoga and uh, have really created a, a kula, a community here. And I like to think of ocean yoga as um, if you were up in space, you could see on Google Earth a bright spot right in the community and that would be this building, just reflecting light, shining out. That's, that was my vision. And uh, people really needed a place to come in and be safe and be themselves and recognize their self-worth. That's kind of a healing concept that I like. We need to come together and be reminded to feel it fully. And that's why I'm drawn to the Anasara Yoga, the absolutes in our philosophy that our life is full and beautiful and pulsates with vital energy. All of these things have such a positive message. At a pretty crazy time in my life while I was still in the Navy, and I was um, pretty much mired in a really controversial issue for the Navy in um, women's issues after there had been a, a pretty brutal assault of me at a Navy sanctioned event called Tailbook. So um, I used to say that doing yoga for 90 minutes in that time of my life was probably the only 90 minutes in my day I didn't think about crying. <laughs> it was really, um, it was, it was my, my life ring for a while. And, uh, and it quickly, quickly evolved into exploring different methods. And 1999, I went to my first John Friend teacher training in Utah. And I had the realization that it was the first time I, actually it's the first time I'd taken a real yoga class. But I had been practicing and teaching for years before that. But in that room with about 150 other people, it was the first time I thought that I was actually surrounded by people that really just loved what they did and loved each other. I felt safe. And I wanted to emulate that for other people. So. That's kind of how it started. And the more I practiced with John and, and some of his teachers, um, Betsy Downing and Noah Maze, some of my favorites, Jay Martin, these people um, so truly embody the philosophy of simply that life is good. We are innately good that I wanted to be around them and learn more. And I think that's what really kind of took me from being so, so broken in um, post-Navy years, for many years. I just thought, you know, six or seven years of my life wasted. And then I realized the more I studied and the more I practiced, the better I felt. And it became clear to me that, um, you know, no part of your life is ever wasted. Even the really crummy stuff, even the extremely painful parts of your life are an opportunity to, to grow and expand. And that in the, and this is one of those things that I really appreciate about Anasara philosophy is that the, in the deepest trends of the universe, there is benevolence. And if you, 
if you can allow yourself to move with that graceful flow, you'll realize moving forward is appropriate and feels good. And even looking back at parts of my life that I thought were horrible and um, a waste of time, and I was broken hearted and, and broken from, now I, I can see that those were all opportunities to become a little bit more trusting, a little bit more loving, completely so much more compassionate, and lean back a little bit more into those currents of grace. It's a, it's a transformative method, a technology, if you will, that is organically inspired in each student, and it, and it, and it works. It worked for me. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm sure I'm still crazy, but I'd like to think I feel much better about myself. <laughs> so, pretty much. That's me in the same week in 2008 that the economy and the stock market crashed. So, you talk about the power of grace um, directing this program that got worried about really the financials of it and whether the community could support this center. And I I think what happened initially was there was a contraction in people participating in this program, but eventually people are naturally inclined to heal. They are they naturally inclined, drawn to what, to what serves them, and I take it that they are inclined to participate here now more than ever, even with tough economy and and in the South, where I have to say, yoga is a new experience for, for a lot of our students. So we're, we're growing. We just keep trying to do our best. My name is Paula Popolo, and I am an Anasara-inspired yoga teacher here at the Ocean Yoga Center in Atlantic Beach, Florida. Welcome. And... Um, we welcome everybody. We'd like to think we're um, oh, a bright spot for anybody to stop in and get full shakti and feel good. You can go um, to the website oceanyoga.biz and find out more about our schedule and our location. This is a new building. We've been here three years, so um, you might need to look us up to find out exactly where we are. But uh, come see us. <laughs>